hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tech studio welcome back to another tutorial of msc adams view so in this video i will teach you the construction option in msc adams view if you are familiar with cad software when you are going to modeling any part so first you have to create the sketch and then you convert your sketch into 3d modeling in CAD software, there are a lot of options about the construction of your sketch. But in MSC Adams view, there are very few options available. So let's discuss these options. Okay, so here you can see that under the body tab, you can see that there is the option is construction so there are six options are available so let us discuss one by one okay the first one is a point if you select this one then the here you can see the point window pop up so what option are available the first option is add to part and if you will select this small arrow so you can see that uh, there are two options one is add to ground and other is add to part okay so this is basically a ground in if you watch my previous videos so i discuss in detail about uh, these things so this is by default is the ground okay so if you want to construct a point at the ground so then we will select from here at the ground then our point will be created on the ground okay let's suppose i want i click here so here you can see that there is a point and here you can see that this point is under the option of ground so it means that we have constructed a point this point basically we used as a reference in future video you will learn but in this the purpose is you will learn how to create point and different other construction geometries okay but if you want to similarly if you will select this one the other option is add to part let's suppose you have a model that have different parts so you can also attach this point on that part like when that part will move this point will move with that part but if we construct this point on the ground then this part will not move because ground is fixed so it means that this point is also fixed so let's see what we have okay so what is the application of this what is the application of this okay let's suppose we want to create a, a rectangle shape okay we want to construct a rectangle shape okay then we can use these point as a reference point and then we can easily create our rectangle how it we can done let's suppose so i just select here ground this is my first part and this is my second point and this is my third point and this is my fourth point so you can draw your point randomly okay and now we have to do uh, the specifications i want to draw a rectangle this is the center okay where x and y is zero this is if we take this point so here has x have some value and y have some value similarly here here and here okay if we want to draw a rectangle 100 millimeter length and uh, 50 millimeter width okay then we have to specify these four points okay so this is our first point so how we can define the position of this point if we want to make the distance from here to here 100 millimeter so it means that centimeter or millimeter let's uh, let's we would we can assign any units so let's suppose it, it is in centimeter so the distance from here to here is 50 and here to here is 25 so it means that at point 1 our x is 50 and y is 25 so and similarly we can just go to modify 
okay so this is our first point so we will assign this as a minus 50 and y location is Twenty-five, and then apply so now we can see that our point A is updated okay and it go to the new position similarly we will go to point 2 and go to modify so this is our point 2 so we know that the value of this is uh, 50 and value of this is 25 similarly for this we also put the value of 50 but don't forget the sign okay the sign is basically represent the location in different coordinates so you know this is our here is x and y both are positive here is x positive and y negative and similarly here uh, y is positive and x is negative so therefore don't uh, for forget to uh, don't forget to uh, place these uh, signs okay so this will be y will be 25 so this is third coordinates minus 25 similarly for this will be 50 and this will be minus 25 okay and now go to apply so now you can see that our reference point are placed accordingly if now we want to create a rectangle shape so we can select this option polyline so as we select the polyline then here you can see that it's your different option but in this way in this uh, video i just we are discussing about the points okay so we will select okay here you select the polyline and when you will bring your cursor in the uh, this window so at the bottom you can see that there is uh, from here you can see that there is a uh, instruction available they pick the start point of the line so it means that we have to where we can start our line so i select this one and then you can see that this instruction is modified updated and set the second point we will go to the second point and then we go to the center of this point then go to the center of this point and finally go to the center of this point and then we will just right click okay so now you can see that our rectangle is created whose length is 100 millimeter width is 50 millimeter so we can use this point function to construct as a reference point where we can draw our geometry or we can apply force or something like that so this is the this is the first option how we can create a point and uh, how can we modify the location of point and how we can use this point as a construction base so this is all about this point and you can also modify this one if you go to setting or tool under the tool option you can see that there is a table editor so under the table editor you can see this is point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 and point 0.4 so we can just define these uh, parameters and our uh, point are created here you can see that the x is 0 it means that the sketch is in two dimensional it is only x and y direction okay okay so here you can also find an option is uh, point table and if you will click on it then you will also get the table of these points so you can modify that location of these points and then your shape will be modified accordingly so the point are basically used to provide the base for the construction of the geometry i hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel so that you can get the uh, notification of my upcoming videos 
in the next video we will discuss about the next next point that is a marker